Hi guys, I'm Mar. So today we're gonna be trying employee hacks at Ulta. I did a video where I tried out Sephora employee hacks and you guys requested I do Ulta. And let me just say, mm, why you guys gotta play with my social anxiety this way? I was so nervous making that Sephora video because that's just not the person I like to be. But since you guys asked for it, here it is, the Ulta version. So the first comment I got requesting this video was like, well, you got any hacks for me. And you guys just said to try the same hacks that I did at Sephora at Ulta, which honestly, it's a really good idea. And I learned a lot doing these hacks. So let me just tell you, tea will be spilled. Hold on to your teacups, girl. But shout out to my girl Kyra again for these hacks. You can get your birthday gift at any time of the year. Even if it's not your birthday month, ask for it and they'll give it to you. Okay, the birthday gift. All right, guys, so we're on our way to Ulta now. And I feel like I have several disclaimers to make this time around. First of all, please don't do this. I I'm doing this so you guys don't have to and leave the poor Ulta employees alone. Also the Sephora employees. This time around, you guys might think I'm feeling more confident, but I feel zero confidence. I'm so nervous because you guys asked me to try these hacks at Ulta, but they're technically Sephora hacks. I do have one Ulta hack that I think might work. We shall see. I'm just gonna try to be as nice as humanly possible. We're not trying to make these retail workers' lives any harder than they already are. Cause you know, there's actual Karens out there. And I'm sorry if your name is Karen. It's just the meme. You gotta go with the meme. So, all right, let's do this. So Ulta actually emails you a coupon that you're supposed to bring in to get your birthday gift. I didn't have my coupon, so I was just like, hey, can I get my birthday gift? Hi, how are you? Hi. How are you? Oh, my birthday you got my birthday gift. First, do you have the email with it? Oh, your birthday was in March, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you have to come within the month. Oh, okay. Because it will actually charge you. I'm sorry. So that didn't work, but I am not one to give up. I created like four different accounts. My different online alter egos, they all got Ulta accounts with different birthdays. And one of them has a December 5th birthday now, but the December birthday didn't get the email either. I don't know, that's not working very well, but I still had to ask. You wanna get your birthday gift? Yeah. Okay, can I get your coupon? Oh, I never got the coupon. I never got it in the email. When's your birthday? December 5th. So it won't send it to you until like the beginning of the month and you send it afterwards? Oh, so necessary? No, no, no. You can call their services and they actually get you a full size mask here. Oh. oh. This number, yeah, it's a full size mask here, so I would call. Yeah. And they send you the email to you. So any brand. So I would call that number. She was very, very nice, but she didn't give me the birthday gift. She told me I had to call this number. That's on. You guys just gonna have to trust me. There's a number right there to talk to customer service so I could get my gift. It just seemed a lot more complicated than it is at Sephora. But also she did say I would get a full size. At Sephora, you don't get a full size. So, mm, Ulta, I wish you guys were just a little bit more giving. Give me that free mascara. For my birthday, that isn't even real. I do have a birthday at some point though. You can get a sample of as much thing as you want. Don't listen to them, there is no limit. I'm just gonna be honest here. I don't go to Ulta as much. I usually go to Sephora, which is about to change because they were so nice at Ulta. And you guys kept telling me this. You guys were like, go to Ulta Mar. Why you keep going to Sephora? I just like to suffer, apparently. I'm used to struggle. So I asked about samples. I don't even think Ulta gives out samples. I, I have no idea if that's a thing. We shall find out. We don't. Um, yeah, Sephora does, I think, with everything. Yeah. Um, what were you trying to get? Something. I wanted to try some powder. Socket. Oh, no, especially not powder. Oh. So usually people will do like foundation samples, but they usually don't do powders because oh, they're okay. not going to put a powder in. Oh, but so really do you guys do foundation? No, only certain companies do. She was so nice. The honesty. It was so refreshing. Don't you just live an honest person? She was like, girl, we don't do samples for that. You should go to Sephora. But what we do have, and she started telling me a bunch of things that were better at Ulta. We do makeup, we do everything. We have everything out for display. We'll try it on you and everything, but we don't send you home to stuff. Why I started liking Ultra was because I was gonna try all the cheap brands and I could never find that like kids have more to do or like things like L'Oreal foundations like that. I wanted to try in the past, so I knew I could go in and match my color and know exactly what I was buying. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Good luck. Which were true. She was like, oh, like you can find like Morphe, which is something that, you know, is usually online and you have like really expensive stuff. And then you got really cheap stuff and you could also like try on the Revlon foundation, which you can't do at the drugstore. I was like, yes, girl, gonna go buy this Revlon foundation right now. Honestly, she was great. She really took her time with me. If anybody knows where I can give her a 
review or something. I would love to do that because she was very, very nice. So this next one is an Ulta hack and this gives me, woo, I clearly love you because doing this, oh, my heart was pumping. It was hard. It was hard to do this. So Ulta gives you 60 days to return any product for whatever reason, as long as it's at least 60% unused. So... I had to try that, you know, see if it worked. I decided I was going to attempt to return this, which is clearly very used. Ah, I can't believe I'm about to do this. No. No, do not do this, please. I'm really hoping this doesn't work. I will be attempting to return this, which technically I should be able to return because it has more than 60% in it. And I will also be attempting... I'm so embarrassed to even say this. I don't even want to try this. I'm so embarrassed. Anxiety about to kick in right now. So I emptied this out earlier. I'm about to empty out this lotion in the Ziploc because I'm not about to let this go to waste. Ooh, we keeping this. And this is pretty empty. So I'm going to see if they take any of these returns. I don't even know how I'm going to keep a straight face asking them to take this as a return because it's very clearly used. Oh, Jesus. I'm nervous. Hi, how are you? How are you? Are you? I'm happy to see you. When I asked about returning this body wash, <laughs> the girl was like, seriously, really girl? And I don't blame her. If I worked at Ulta, I would have given myself that same look. Like, you really gonna try and return this? So she had to go get her manager. Completely understandable. I was there dying. I was so embarrassed. My face was so red. It was like this color. I was just, mm. and then to make matters worse. Another girl that worked at Ulta was so nice, so sweet. She goes, Mar, I love your videos. And I was like, kill me, kill me now. Guys, just take me, take me now. She was seriously so sweet and she asked if I was filming. Girl, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I had to lie, I had to, just for the sake of actually getting the right information. Yeah. We're doing Bath and Body Works for the candle sale. Yeah, we got 31. <laughs> and I was like, yes, I was filming candles because it's candle day. Because today is candle day. Yesterday, for when you guys are watching this, was candle day. I got a lot of candles at Bath and Body Works. Let me see, just because we can't be returned on. Just let it know because of the... And then you guys can look at the text to keep us up really good. So the manager came back and she was like really looking at my receipt and she's like, whoa, you bought this two days ago? She seemed so confused that I had used this all up in two days. And I was like, yes, ma'am. Yes. But good news. So the policy does work. They said they could take this one, but they couldn't take this one because this one was obviously less than 60%. They just said it would basically be for like store credit. It wouldn't be for actual money. But I was like, I can't return that. I mean, I just, I just can't. If you don't want to be bothered by any of us, just put headphones in when you get there and we won't say anything to you. Oh. The good old headphone trick, which we proved does not work. Let's see if it works at Ulta. All right, I'm heading in. First, I'm gonna do my headphones. Isn't this the cutest AirPod case thing? But let's see if this works better than at Sephora. with headphones so i guess it does work but i thought you know what let me try without headphones okay so since last time i was really ignored when i had my airpods on i'm gonna go in with nothing and see maybe i'll be ignored anyway who knows maybe i'm just invisible at this point Help. 
and I was also ignored without headphones. I would stand in front of them holding the product and nothing would happen. Maybe I just seemed knowledgeable because I did overhear Gordo being offered help. Now that I think of this, I'm kind of flattered. But yeah guys, there you have it. Let me know if there's any more hacks you would like me to try at what other stores. This has been a lot of fun. And now you know what works, what doesn't, and don't try them just for fun because it's not fun for those retail workers. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel by clicking down there. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one.